Good morning, folks. As we watch a plasma filament dance near the North Solar Polar Crown, we're hours away from a moderate CME impact. Let's go over what we're watching at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun was quite snappy, actually. Off the limbs, mostly, you're going to see several eruptive pops. Small flares, small ejections, four or five at the end there. But alas, none of those are heading this way. They just mean we've got to watch the sun for more. What's coming here is the CME from March 10th, expected to arrive this evening and trigger geomagnetic storms into tomorrow. Nothing at scary levels, but a good chance for aurora at lower latitude than usual. And when it arrives, there will be no confusing it. Solar wind telemetry has dropped out to low, calmer levels, which will leave the CME impact looking very obvious. The sunspots are our last thing to check on the sun. The big grouping up north is the only flare-capable spot, but even it doesn't appear willing. Small magnetic interaction regions, but nothing tremendous. We'll obviously keep watching her today. Quick peek at the U.S. climate report for February. Early this coming week, the global maps will be released, but here we can see it was in fact a below average month for temperatures. And no, I don't mean because it's winter here in February. I mean compared to other Februarys. Also gotta love the only western patch of green in the precipitation maps over top of the northern New Valley of the Sun. This one takes us back to the disagreement over the paleo poles. Folks, unreliable direction. 100% reliance on subjective opinion in terms of determining direction of the paleo poles. We have gone over this in high detail in our documentary and movies. Where the poles were in the past is riddled with opinion and error. And last but not least, two more major solar outbursts showing up in the record. These appear to be the millennial scale events, 1,000 to 2,000 years apart, always sinking again at around 6,000 years. Nice to see now all Holocene millennial solar events now in the record in some form or another, especially with the next millennial super flare due this century. We greatly appreciate your support. CME Impact today and we're watching for more. We've got old school wind maps to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.